Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is your girl. I'm going to be making a YouTube video today. Um, it's really based on sexuality. Um, basically based on homosexuals, gay people. I just want to give my take on it coming from a Christian perspective of um, Christian per perspective on the whole um, idea. Um, see, when it comes to sexuality, when it comes to gay people, homosexuals, um, although it, I feel like it's one of the many sins that we, um, as human beings, as flawed human beings have, like a lot of people seem to have that issue. Um, but in addition to that, since there's also other sins such as adultery, such as people that lie, people that kill, people that steal, um, people that are bullies and horrible to nasty people because you can kill people both spiritually, emotionally, and physically. I mean, people that commit heinous crimes. So there are all types of sins out in the world. But I think the perspective to take upon that is I think just like any other sin, you have to be able to use the word of God to be able to conquer all your evil fleshly desires. It's kind of like we're looking at Romans 8, where it talks about the flesh versus the spirit. So your flesh desires something that is unnatural. It's, it, I, I feel like some people are born that way, like they're born with these desires. But I believe that that's where the Christian perspective comes in. It's just like anybody else that may be struggling in their flesh with any other device. Like someone that might overeat or someone that eats too much or, you know, someone that fornicates or someone that does, you know, all types of things that are in the world. Or someone that's faced with the temptation to steal or people that are thieves. This is a same principle that can apply to anybody that's struggling in their Christian walk with any other ideal. Is Take the thought captive, bring it under submission of Christ Jesus, realize that this is a spiritual battle. I feel like everything is a spirit. I genuinely feel that it is a demonic spirit from the kingdom of darkness, from Satan. You have to take it, bind it, cast it out by the power of the blood of Jesus, and replace every evil thought with the word of God, and quote scriptures. There's no temptation you're facing with, but that every man is facing with, and that with God all things are possible. And you begin to declare, you begin to bind it, you begin to cast it out. You use your anointing oil, you, you start praying, you start quoting devil, Satan, you are a liar. You will not tempt me with this temptation. This is a kingdom from the kingdom. You just start praying fire, Holy Ghost fire, like mountain of fire, rain is falling. You start binding, you start casting, you start clapping your hands, dancing, using anointing oil, quoting scriptures. Until that principality, that power to that evil temptation of the flesh is gone. Use your spirit. And your spirit, the, the, it says that the word of God is like a two-edged sword. So you use the word of God as a two-edged sword. You start speaking against it. You start binding Satan. You start binding You cast it out. You say, you evil demonic desire that has given me this homosexual tendency. I bind it. I cast it out by the power of the blood of Jesus. And you just begin to bind it. You begin to cast it. You begin to destroy it by the power of the blood of Jesus. And before you know it, you won't even be faced with these type of desires. And it's the same principle like maybe someone that's overweight that likes to eat. If you put a piece of cake in front of them and they're faced with temptation just like you know adam and eve they had temptation when they were in their garden so you know what did they say don't eat the apple right what did adam do he ate the apple after eve ate it and gave it to him so that's the temptation man it's like always like you tell somebody not to do something first thing you want to do is okay i want to do this so just because you're faced with a temptation in and of itself is not a sin but once you act upon once you dwell on and act upon that temptation then it becomes a sin and sin leads to what to death so when you're faced with temptation it says it's remember that temptation is of the it's of the world is of the flesh the pride of the 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 pride of the world the pride of the flesh the pride of the lust all these things are things that are of the world so all these temptations that you're faced with are temptations that all everybody faced with tem different temptations so Anybody that's struggling with any of these homophobic um, problems or a, any type of temptation, use the word of God to fight it. Use warfare prayers. Begin to bind and cast out demonic spirits. Use anointing oil. Get deliverance. So I'm speaking against the word. It's something that God can heal. He can deliver. He can set you free. Every time you have the thought, you take it, you replace it with the word of God. Every time you have horrible thoughts, toxic thoughts, you replace it with the word of God. And also in the word of God, it says, um, my Sunday school teacher explained it to me in a way. I want to break it down to you that it doesn't say to flee from temptation. So if you're struggling with these things of your flesh, it doesn't say to flee. It, says, it, doesn't say, it doesn't say to resist the devil. It says to flee from the devil. So when you're faced with temptation, you're not trying to sit there and resist. Oh, I can fight this on my own. Oh, this is something I can handle. No, you're not fighting it on your own. You're not resisting it on your own. What you have to do is you have to flee, which means to get out and to get out of that situation quickly. If you know you're struggling in your flesh with someone that overeats or with someone that you know has a problem with stealing or being a thief, you have to flee. When you 
as soon as you see that temptation, whatever you're tempted with, quickly remove yourself from the situation as quickly as possible. Begin to pray, begin to anoint yourself, begin to cast out demonic principles. There are supernatural powers, there are principalities, there are powers, there are forces of darkness that are fighting your destiny and your purpose. So you have to begin to bind, you have to begin to take it down, you have to begin to quote the word of God and use it as a two-edged sword. So with God, all things are possible. So anybody that's struggling with any of these homophobic tendencies, anybody that's struggling with stealing, anybody that's struggling with fornication, anybody that's struggling with adultery, anybody that's having problems with being a thief, anybody that's having problems with being tempted to break the law, these are the same principles that you can apply. God is the only answer and the only way out of this. Begin to bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. Use anointing oil. Begin to quote scriptures and watch and see how God will deliver you out of that problem, out of that trial, and how principalities and as as you begin to decree, as you begin to declare, you begin to speak it out into the atmosphere. There are angels that will begin to be dispatched and be able to bring whatever you open your mind and declare and bring it to pass in your life. You are healed from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You are a child of the Most High God. Everything your hand touches flourishes and prospers. And remember. That if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Thank you, guys. Subscribe. Hit below. Please feel free to comment. I want to know your comments on this issue. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye.